that. I'm Vic Lombardi, and it is my distinct honor to welcome all Nuggets fans and all NBA fans watching from around the globe. Can you believe we were standing right here 134 days ago, and we watched the Nuggets strike gold that night? I know these two men were here. Please welcome Nuggets owner Stan Kroenke and Nuggets president Josh Kroenke. Now to present the rings, NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. Thank you, Denver Nuggets fans. You've waited a long time for this moment. The first championship in the history of the franchise. Josh, Stan, I'm thrilled for you and your entire organization. So let's get right to it. Let's give out the rings. Receiving their rings first, Stan and Josh Kroenke, stewards of a Nuggets team that went 16 and four during that historic playoff run. They took out the Timberwolves. They blocked the Suns. They swept the Lakers. And they beat the Heat on the way to their very first NBA championship. Boys, those look good. Next to receive their rings, it is my pleasure to introduce the architect and bench boss of your Denver Nuggets. Please welcome General Manager Calvin Booth and Head Coach Michael Malone. Coach Malone, the microphone is all yours, my friend. Nuggets Nation, I can't hear you. You guys have been the best fans in the NBA for eight years. We appreciate that. Last year was amazing. We got one ring. Who wants another? Let's go get it. Love you. Thank you, Coach. Your dad, your dad is proud right now. Without further delay, Let's start handing out some bling. We begin with the veteran voice, number six, DeAndre Jordan.
Wearing number zero, the freshly shaven Christian Brown! Number 31, the V is for Vladko Chancha. Up next, number eight. Jumpin' Jack Peyton Watson! <laughs> Number 21, Villanova's finest, Colin Gillespie! Number one, Mr. Smooth, Michael Porter Jr. Here comes number five, KCP, Contavious Godwell Polk! Number 27, the heartbeat, Jamal Murray! And finally, Now that the players have received their rings, please turn your attention to the Ball Arena board for a video about these one-of-a-kind rings. <laughs>
now here to say a few words on behalf of the 2023 champions, Aaron Gordon! Yo, yo, yo. Listen, uh, on behalf of my teammates, uh, my training staff, my coaching staff, uh, the management and Cronky Sports, we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for uh, experiencing this journey with us. It's only right since last season ended in Denver. Only makes sense that this season starts in Denver too, baby. So thank you for coming out and supporting tonight and all season long on our road to repeat. Peace. banner. Who's ready to see this banner? in those championship rings. Shaq, there's a lot to cover in that. Uh... Yeah, shout out to Jason and Beverly Hills. Jason and Beverly Hills, we're about shout out yes. to. Good Jason job, man. Every year they do a great job, right? That's, a, that's just a cool moment, especially for a franchise that had been waiting so long and they finally get that first one. And normally, look, I haven't seen Joker smiling that much. Yeah, that's true. For a long time, he normally just smiles when Shaq tries to speak Serbian to him. <laughs> but, but this was what he's always been talking about. Is it's all about winning. It's all about claiming a championship, and he got it done. He, he, he and his teammates. He reminds me very much of the demeanor of Akeem Olajuwon. Like Akeem, when we won the championship, wasn't jumping on the stanchions, but when we got the ring, he was super excited that night. Uh, you know, it was the first championship for the for Houston uh, in, in any sport when we won it. And so this here, I understand what that moment feels. But the same demeanor as an Elijah Wan, that strictly business, but it's good to see him smile. And this just solidifies and put a stamp on all the hard work that you put in and you got it done. But, you know, the good thing about sports is it starts all over tonight. Uh, it was a great ceremony, but... You know, guys like us with, that are competitors, we don't care what you did last year. Let's see if you can repeat. But that's a hell of a ring right there. It validates this team in the wake of several seasons in which they had great regular seasons. There were expectations, hey, this team could go to the finals or this team could win the West, that kind of thing. And this time they did yeah, but, and got it. And but got you got to give Cab and Booth a lot of credit. First of all, most people don't know he's just Durham Man. He did a fabulous job. You know, obviously everybody talk about Jamal and Joker. He went out and got KCP. He went out and got Aaron Gordon. He went out and got up Mr. Brown. And Mr. Brown, we, they're gonna miss you here in Denver. But give Cab and Booth a lot of credit. They they couldn't get over the hump, 
but they didn't blow it up. They just kept getting better. And the kid from Kansas, man, I, Christian Brown. Let me tell you something. He was fabulous. The thing is going to be interesting going forward. They got a lot of young guys. They got to throw in there. It's going to be fun watching this team.